so we have another product from Awesome, and a big thank you for Awesome for sending it to me. This is a USB 3.0 to IDE. IDE says IDE on there. IDE stroke SATA. So it can do IDE. I do have an IDE hard drive, and I'm going to test it because I don't even know if it works anymore. I've had it for quite a few years, so that's amazing. It says on about one touch backup and just tells you all about the different connections. I'm not going to read all through it. I'll quickly show you so you can read through it yourselves if you want. So yeah, amazing. IDs. Right, let's see what you get in the box. Can't get over that. IDE. So brilliant if you've got an old RD, RDD, if you've got an IDE hard drive. Absolutely brilliant. So what you get, so it's nicely presented by the way. Uh, obviously you get your main body. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Wow, with loads of little connections on. Uh, does one touch back up, for that. Yeah. Little rubber feet on the bottom. On off switch, power, USB connection. I think that's an IDE there. Uh, SATA connections. Looking good, looking good. Interesting. Very interesting. And I think that's two different sizes of IDE on the sides. Uh, yeah, looking forward. Where else to get in the box? Well, hopefully you get a power supply. Because we're going to need that. So you get a power brick. And you get a three pin plug. So that just connects straight to the power brick. And a two pin plug. So you choose one or the other. So, what else you get? You get a USB free and a Molex connection in the bag. I'm not going to take out the bag just yet. So, move them bits out of the way. Let's get the plug out and connect you up. Because I can't wait. Looks like quite a long lead as well. I wouldn't be surprised if that's two metres. It's about one and a half, about one and a half metres, I reckon. Yeah? So we're going to connect, quickly connect this. I would imagine it just slotted on somehow. Right, so. Get it in the old. There you go. So that's in. If you want to release it, hold that button. Yeah, it's easy enough, isn't it? Yeah. Plug her in. So it's plugged in. You want to come a bit closer? So I have a selection of hard drives here, so I have an SSD drive, and that should go straight in that connection there, hopefully. And it does, and that holds it pretty well. Doesn't it feel like it's going to wobble off or anything like that? So that's just sat sorted. IDE. Here's an old IDE, see that? I'm not going to count the pins, but you're going to need power. I think you're going to have to power this one up. Oh, I wonder if that's what comes in that other pack. Yeah, I, I reckon it does. So, that should go in there. No, that's too short. Not that one. That one. That looks about the right size. Yes! Look at that, baby. Look at that. It'll even hold it for you. So, I wouldn't want to hold it like that, because that's quite heavy, that hard drive. But, yeah, that holds it. And, obviously, you need to power it up. And it comes with a connection for that as well. So that's two. And I've got a third drive here. And this is another SATA one, so it should just plug in to the same SATA. Get in there, get in there. There you go. Brilliant. Right, so I've decided to install the software because I've realised there's some information you might not see. Something to bear in mind and uh, I did read up on it, that if you use two IDEs, you'd have to set one as a slave and one as a master. See, as it shows in this picture, this one says to take the uh, jumper out, it will be the master. If you leave it in on one of them settings, it will be a slave. I've got it set on the M1, and hopefully it should just work. So power up, so it needs power, unlike your SATA ones, they're all built in and connect your IDE make sure it goes in the right slots make sure it's nice and tight fit make sure all your cables are plugged in my USB on my front and my 
computer's not working very well, so I've had to run it on the internal. So hopefully it's all working well. We will see. So switch you on, and hopefully it will get detected. And it work. It will work, hopefully. Oh, we had sound. Oh, it's come out straight away. So it says J. Oh, we've got two. It says J and K. So it's partitioned our drive. So we're going to see if it pops up. Give it a few seconds. It's saying it's got 99.99 megabytes of total capacity and 67.69 megabytes have been used. That's not bad. It's saying it's uninitialized. It's, a, it's using USB 3, which is a cable, of course. Right, nothing's popped up, so we're going to go into the uh, drives. See if I can find it. Now I found them. So there's K, K, and there's J. So there's nothing on J, but there's looks like a Windows operating system on J. Oh, sorry, on K. Get it right, Yorkie. And there you go. So yeah, that so that works fine. Well, quite impressed how quick that loaded up, considering it's an IDE hard drive. Very good. Uh, and I wasn't even sure whether that hard drive worked or not. So I'm going to close that down. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to right click and uh, delete it. So eject device. So hopefully that's been ejected. Better shut this down as well. Turn it off. So we know that works, so that's good. How reliable it is, I don't know, but I can't believe it actually works. Well, what we're going to do now is see if we can transfer video from my computer, this little baby here, yeah, and that is, what's that, that's 120 gigabyte, and we're going to transfer that onto my IDE drive, just to see if she works. I'll quickly turn it on. Wait for her to load up. So two folders, one's a partition folder, I'm just going to stick it on this one, so right click on here, copy and paste, and then we're also going to try it on my SSD, and I would have thought it'd be roughly the same speed, because it'd be down to the device itself that is controlling the speed, but we will see, I could be wrong, so it's running around about 43 to 44 megabits per second, it's not a fantastic speed, but this device is designed for backing up your Windows operating system and being able to connect to an IDE drive if you if you need to. So yeah, that wasn't fantastically fast, but it was okay. So I'm going to delete it off my uh, device. So I'm going to close it down. Right now we're going to try my SSD drive, and I would have thought it'd be about the same speed, but you never know; it might be faster. We will see. Yeah, it's a little bit faster, not much faster. I didn't expect it to be much faster anyway because it would be down to the device itself. Right, so that's it in. So, yeah, I think it's an excellent little product. It's got the backup that you might need, so if you want to back up your operating system on your uh, computer, you've just got a one button press. Now I like the fact you can plug in an IDE drive. If you've got an IDE drive, I thought, yeah, I have one, and I think I might actually have some more somewhere, so I'm going to have a look, and I will be using this to see what's on them, because I've got no way of checking to see what's on them anymore. So yeah, good little tool for uh, checking your IDEs. Not only that, it does do, CD players. So if you've got an internal CD player, you can plug it into this. Obviously SSD, like I showed you earlier. It copied my video from my computer with no problem, whether I'm copying onto IDE or SSD, it didn't matter, it just copied it fine. And obviously you can take the information off of them drives and put them onto your computer as well. It does do a backup of your original Windows operating system. So if you want a backup device that can do other things as well, this is awesome. I quite like it. I'm quite impressed. £22, you know, it's nothing really nowadays. 
£22 for what it does. It comes with a CD for your bit of software that you might want to install. That was easy to do. Just go through the settings, do your adjustments, and away you go. Definitely gets my thumbs up. And if this video gets your thumbs up, give me the thumbs up. If it didn't, give me the thumbs down and uh, please subscribe. Awesome.